this partnership really was looking at the impact of some of our extension programs and what kind of changes it had on children's overall health and families' health. Not just, hey, what are the kids doing, but what kind of meaningful behavioral changes and things have we seen for children that participate in programs like Junior Master Gardener. The evaluation of that project was built around this curriculum, Learn, Grow, Eat, and Go. The teachers are leaders leading kids through this 10-week course, stepping through the aspects of plants and why they're important in plant science and what plants need and what we need, and kids being able to really understand how to make those things happen, those choices happen, to be able to improve uh, their diets. We not only followed the children, but their parents and looked at what kind of changes actually happened at home as a result of what they were doing at school. Recipes we were doing in the classroom that they were trying at home with their children. One of the things that we found is kids oftentimes will be uh, contaminated by other kids saying they like or they don't like something. Kids are challenged to evaluate the texture of this fresh food sample without considering the taste and they grade that. So they have fresh food exposure and they also have these in-classroom recipes called classroom garden kitchen demos and so they have these repeated food exposures. They're not only tasting the vegetables in a raw form and um, in a recipe, but then all the vegetables that are featured in the curricula, they're actually growing in the garden. So there's a real connection between growing it and eating it. And if they grow it and they taste it or prepare it, that they're more likely to want to try it and incorporate it as part of their diet. If you're going to adopt a new vegetable into your diet, it's likely to happen if you have repeated exposures. So the idea of starting kids, starting with them at a younger age, you influence more of, of who they are for a lifetime uh, than, than you would if you started as, 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 as older people, as older kids even. Increases in academic learning, particularly in the areas of science achievement, leadership development, personal responsibility, learning to communicate with others. We're seeing positive changes in all of these areas, so it shows that we can really impact children in a meaningful way with programs that not only address learning, but some of these other behavioral issues to help them be more well-rounded as young people.